Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and this is the series of learning OpenShift, Red Hat OpenShift. Uh, previously we have learned how to deploy OpenShift into the AWS cluster and you can also um, deploy your cluster, OpenShift cluster into the Google. So, uh, and then we will discuss about how OpenShift works, the architecture of the OpenShift and some basic uh, other information like build and deployment of the OpenShift. After that, we discussed how to deploy an application from the image registry. So we use the Docker as a image registry and we demonstrate how to deploy from the Docker. In this tutorial, we will uh, discuss about how to deploy an application uh, from the GitHub. Okay, so first we will uh, build and then deploy. So this time we will use the strategy strategy H2I, source to image. So um, let go to our um, diagram here. Uh, so uh, this is our um, example. This is our demo application, which we will create in OpenShift cluster environment. So this is our OpenShift cluster. Here we have created a project named movie. Uh, it is having the three microservices. These two microservices, S1 and S3, these are developed in the Java using the Spring framework. And P2 is developed as a Python. So in last video, we deployed this P2 microservices from the Docker. So this was the image and we deployed it into the um, uh, our project, OpenShift project. In this video, we will deploy the second microservice. It is the S3 as part of um, the H2I source code. So uh, in my GitHub, I have all the source code for this uh, web, uh, this microservice. And uh, then once we will run the command, it will first get the all the source code and then then deploy. I will I will come back to it. Let first execute the uh, command because command will take uh, time. Uh, to run okay in the meantime we will discuss so let me start here so it is uh, i have it is it is the cli of my openshift cluster okay so uh, let me so first uh, uh, the project command okay so we are having these three projects and we are working on the movie projects here okay so let me go to the command here um this is going to be the command okay uh, oc uh, new app is the command name and the name of the application strategy we have to use the source okay this is the important one the strategy source okay because if we do not explicitly provide the strategy then by default it will take up as a docker file so if it will find the docker in our uh, docker file in our source code it will execute that docker file and will create the project so if we don't want to use the docker file then we have to uh, clearly mention strategy source okay and then this is the base image fabricate h2i java so uh, uh, the fabricate is kind of framework I will uh, cover up it in some uh, later uh, video. It is a framework used to generate templates and other things for the Kubernetes and OpenShift. And uh, then this is our GitHub directory, uh, GitHub repository, S3. This is the repository name. So this command, what will do? It will get the code from this uh, uh, Git repository and then will build the code and then start a deployment. So let me execute this command here. Okay, so it have started. Okay, so command has started. Let's we go into the log part. Okay, so log would be generated. So for seeing the log, this is the command. So uh, as you can see, it have started the cloning. Okay, cloning of our source code from here and uh, um, after after cloning so it, it has started cloning after cloning it will start the building the code okay because it will it will get it will find a form.xml file inside my source code so it will start uh, so it will, it will grab that it is a java project and will start the building the so let me also show you uh, the structure in my um, uh, github okay so this is my github account 
and uh, uh, this is the repository s3 rating data service here you can see uh, this is the docker file is there okay if we do not mention the strategic source then uh, then by default it will take the docker file but now as we explicitly defined that it is the source so it will ignore the docker file and will start building the code from here so here is our pom.xml file okay and uh, here is the source uh, I, I will show you some more things here uh, uh, by the time uh, i think our um, uh, build is going fine yes uh, it is going fine it will take some time okay the maven build has been started you can see that uh, here the pom files it will it is basically downloading okay all the dependencies from the pom so this is going on so it will take some time the download of the all the dependencies and then it will build up okay so uh, in the meantime let me show you the code here uh, it is a very simple uh, um, simple microservice uh, this is the microservice code let me go into the resource part application properties so i wanted to show you that this application will run on the port 8083 okay mm -hmm. but uh, as we run this application as a um, source to image and nowhere we are mentioning at the time of running source to image command in the open shift that it should be run on the 8083 so by default it will it will it will create a service on the 8080 port okay so later later we will uh, go into the service and we'll change the service port to from 8080 to 8083 because this application will uh, will listen on the 8083 port okay so that part i will also show you i deliberately do that so that i can show you that how service and route will work okay after that we will generate the route also Okay, so I deliberately did that, uh, and then uh, we will also uh, discuss about our. So this is still going on. Will take some time. Uh, so meantime, uh, let we uh, go uh, back to the our example. So this will be our base example here. Uh, three web service, V three microservice we will uh, deploy as part of this demonstration first part we have already deployed second part we are working on and then third part we will use the docker file okay for that third part i have written a docker file i will show you how the docker file will work then uh, then how this deployment will uh, work from the docker file okay uh, this would be our main um, microservice this microservice will connect to these to other microservice uh, this s1 microservice will receive data from s3 and p2 okay and after receiving data the json object it will source this those json object into the uh, in, into into the console okay so very very simple uh, no no front end is there only just uh, the um, json object is uh, um, uh, being passing by these uh, microservices okay and uh, uh, then uh, i will also show you that uh, we uh, we are creating the route so like uh, in the previous video i show how to create the route and we also check into the external route uh, for this uh, service also we will create the external route also to check whether this microservice is working fine or not but uh, uh, once uh, this s1 um, service will connect to the s3 and p2 it will use the internal service okay it will not go to the internet and the external route because it will take the time okay because network always take the time to connect okay so it will use the internal service okay i will i will show you all the things once we will uh, come to the deployment of this part i will show you the code here also the java code and how it will connect to these other microservices and will still use this is use the internal service not the external route okay uh this this work is still going on okay so build is success you can see here build is success now okay it is now uh, creating the image so build part is done okay it has uh, been uh, developed the artifacts generated the artifacts jar files and whatever is required for it and now it is uh, creating the image okay because everything in open shift and the kubernetes is run as a image so it will first create the image and then this image will get deployed into the open shift so now you can see push is successful push is successful means the image has been created and the image has been successfully pushed into the open shift internal registry okay now we will check the ports here how many ports are currently running okay so for it command is oc get port okay 
So here, uh, let me, uh, okay. So now it is clear. So a P2 like uh, in, in our last, so we have deployed P2. So that's why these P2 R1 is for P2 deploy and, and in another port is P2 application is running. Okay, you can see here the status running. Okay, and here, uh, here um, uh, the build part is completed. Now for S3, you can see three ports are here. One is for the build. Okay, one is for the build. This build part is completed. Now the deploy part is currently running. Okay, and this deployment is creating a container for the application. Okay, let me again rerun this, this, this command. So now it is showing that deployment is also completed and application is running on the S3 part, okay? So let me do one thing. Let me see uh, the um, services here, okay? So Oshi get service, okay? So it will return all the services. So it is currently returning two services. One is for P2, okay? So P2 is, so it is our Python microservice. It is listening on the port 5000, okay? But I, as I told you, because it was the source to image and we nowhere mentioned the port there. So that's why it is by default, it is learn, listening on the port 8080. But as I, as I show you in our uh, source code, okay? Uh, as I uh, show you in our uh, source code, the application should be on the 8083. So now what we have to do, we have to edit it, okay? So for editing it, what we need to do, Oshi, edit, service, and the name of service. So this is the name of our service. Okay. So it will open it into the Vim. Now we have to modify it. Let let me do one thing. Let me add 8083 port also here along with along with 8080 port. Okay. So let me uh, do one thing. Let me copy it. Uh, let me copy uh, from here till here. Okay and then come to uh, this part and uh, let me paste it here okay okay and now change it from 8080 to 8083 so that changes we have made okay and then let me save it so now our service has been edited. Let me again see that now it will uh, be okay. Uh, so now you can see here 8083 has been added. Okay. But this is still uh, the service is created, but route is not there. So it, this, uh, this will not be accessible from the outside uh, uh, outside of the clusters bird okay from outside will not be so for accessing this service from the outside we have to create a route so let me see how many routes are there oshi get r o u t e route okay so you can see currently one route is only there okay only one route no no other route is there so we have to create a route okay so for creating route we have to expose the service oc expose svc or and the service name this is our service name Okay, so now it is exposed. Now we can see it into the route. As I told you, the route has been created. But here, one point again need, need to be noted. The route by default is uh, mentioning the port 8080. So again, we have to, uh, we have to uh, update this uh, route with the port 8083, okay? So now what we will do, we will again edit this route. Oshi edit route and the 
route name this is the route name okay now let instead of tar let we have to change the target port so instead of 8080 we have to mention 8083 here okay now now it uh, the route has been created uh, let we save it okay so um, i hope everything would be fine here now okay uh, so um, let me first see everything every pod is created okay so as you can see our application is running on this pod uh, everything uh, seems fine to me so let me check whether it is accessible in this url or not so uh, see url uh, then the address and then uh, let me go back to the uh, code here uh, okay uh, so uh, this service will be uh, listen on this path okay so let me uh, copy okay and then uh, paste it here sorry what is happening okay uh, some some problem uh, we uh, uh, some problem is there let me okay let let we access it from uh, the um, Okay, uh, let me uh, move to the console. Uh, some some problem in in this CLI. Okay, uh, command is uh, actually I am not able to copy. Okay, and uh, it is uh, not behaving good. Okay, I have to close it, and I think we I have to again uh, reopen the another terminal. Let me see if it is working. No, it is again not working. I have to reconnect it, it anyway. Okay, so so anyway, uh, let me uh, go back to our console here, and I will show you everything in console now. Okay, because we have already created the projects and the application through the CLI, so it should be visible in in console. Okay, so now let me go to the projects. Our projects was the movie, and now let me go to the uh, workload. Okay. Uh, so here, okay, P2 we have created previously. Now P3, S3 has already been created. And as I told you, route and service we have already created. Now here you can see we have added uh, through CLI 8083. So it is now visible here also. And uh, the target port, the, the target port we have also configured in the route. So once we will click here, uh, it uh, the, uh, our microservice will be accessible from the outside world also. Okay, but as I mentioned that uh, um, uh, the path to listen this would be the different. Okay, uh, so uh, let me show you here. Okay, right, okay. So once we give the uh, complete path on which the application is listening, so this, accessible, this application is accessible and returning the JSON object, okay. So uh, this part we have also covered now. Okay, so this part we have completed, this part we have completed. In the next video, I will show you how to uh, get uh, um, 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 uh, the application from the Docker file and deployed into the, then 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 once this application get deployed, I will show you the, how it is making connection internally, not from the external route, how internally it will connecting, okay? So I will show you this and will complete this example uh, in the next video. Thanks, thanks for listening.